Lumpopo's finance is stabilised and Rasuje's remains confirmed. Good day to you. Government's intervention team in Lumpopo has managed to turn around the finances of the province and paid all creditors of state hospitals. Team leader Kenneth Brown says all schools have been paid their outstanding monies. We have a very, 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 very responsible approach towards NHI and we really want to use this opportunity to share the knowledge that we have in this province, the success stories that we have in this province, share it with the rest of the country and the National Department of Health so that we can really ensure that whatever we establish will be affordable and will meet the objectives of NHI. The team was deployed after Cabinet put five departments under administration last December. This followed the alleged mismanagement of 2.7 billion rand by the five departments. Brown says serious problems still need to be solved. Well, forensic tests have confirmed the identity of skeletal remains found in Temba, north of Pretoria, as those of late Constable Francis Rasuche. The remains were identified through DNA analysis. She disappeared eight years ago. Her then-boyfriend, William Kuna, has since been sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder on the basis of circumstantial evidence. Rasuche's remains were found under his house. More than 2,000 families in Sasselberg's Gartin Township are forced to dig their own toilets and backyards after 2004 election promises were not fulfilled. They have lived with no toilets for more than nine years and are not receiving any help from the municipality. 2,400 RDP houses were built just before the election. And NATO-led forces in Afghanistan say two of their troops have shot and been shot and killed by a man wearing an Afghan army uniform. The attacker died when coalition forces returned fire. Unofficial reports suggest the incident was inside a military base in Helmand province in the south of the country. Well, in your top story at 5 o'clock, government's intervention team in Limpopo has managed to turn around the finances of the province and paid all creditors of state hospitals. The team leader, Kenneth Brown, says all schools have now been paid their outstanding monies.